is going on YouTube? So coming back today with a video that might take, it might actually take a little while. A video I've been very excited to do though, and that is ranking the top, well, ranking all 30 starting fives in the NBA. So I did not do an official power rankings for the NBA post free agency, and I've talked a lot about NBA free agency this year. So this is pretty much going to take the place of it until I do my official NBA preview. So, I'm going to be doing my full rankings 30 to 1. I got all my notes planned out right here. So, let's go ahead and start. So, obviously, starting fives aren't set yet. This is based off a combination of uh, starting fives I saw off of um, Bleach Report and then Real GM. So, uh, if you want to know where I got those starting fives from, look them over, whatever. Uh, those are the two sites. If I saw something that I thought was wrong on one, I would just check the other. If there was a player recently signed that I think was going to start, there are a few examples of that. I'll get to that when I get there. So I will not be putting this entire list in the description below. There's not enough room in the description. So it will be on my uh, website. Go check that out. The link will be in the description below if you want to see everything explained out. So let's go ahead and start with number 30, Brooklyn Nets. So, you know, I, I said yesterday that Jeremy Lin was going to have a successful season. I still believe that to be true. But the rest of the starting five is a little bit rough, maybe outside of Brooke Lopez. You're looking at a starting five of Jeremy Lin at the point, Karis LeVert at the two, most likely maybe Sean Kilpatrick. We'll see. Uh, Rondé Hollis Jefferson most likely at the three, and then Trevor Booker at the four, and Brooke Lopez at the five. So at number, 20, or, uh, number 29, I got the Philadelphia 76ers. So this starting five is up in the air a little bit. Uh, we'll see if Nerlens Noel and Jaleel Okafor are still there when the season starts. But saying they are, this is going to be the starting five. Jared Bayless at the one, Nick Stauskas, or Gerald Henderson at the two. Um, either Robert Covington or Dario Saric at the three. Ben Simmons at the four, and then Jaleel Okafor at the five. Maybe Nerlens Noel, maybe Joel Embiid. All three will get playing time, obviously, in the front court. So at number 28, I got the Sacramento Kings. Out of the bottom three, definitely have the most talented player on their team. But anyway, uh, the rest of the lineup, again, a little bit rough. So Darren Collison at the one, Aaron Aflalo at the two, Omri Caspi at the three, um, Rudy Gay at the four, and then DeMarcus Cousins at the five. So at number 27, I got the New Orleans Pelicans, a lineup that... You want to feel like it's playoff worthy, but at the same time, isn't still isn't that great. So at the one, you got Drew Holiday. At the two, you either got Buddy Heald or Tyreek Evans. Probably Tyreek Evans to at least start the season. Solomon Hill at the three, Anthony Davis at the four, and Omir Ashik at the five. So it's just any lineup that features Omir Ashik and Solomon Hill both at the same time, you just don't feel like it's just not a very attractive lineup. So in number 26, we got the LA Lakers, and I know that most people would have the Lakers a little bit lower than I do, even though they're still at 26, but the young core is very enticing because they got D'Angelo Russell at the one, Jordan Clarkson at the two, Brian Ingram at the three, Julius Randle or Luol Deng at the four, and then Timofey Mozgov at the five. So at number 25, we got the Phoenix Suns, and a team that actually has a pretty intriguing uh, backcourt and power forward position. So we got Eric Bledsoe at the one, maybe Brandon Knight. Devin Booker at the two, P.J. Tucker at the three, Dragon Bender or Markeith Moore, or excuse me, Markeith, Marquise Chris at the four, and then Tyson Chandler at the five. So at number 24, we got the Orlando Magic, and we got Alfred Payton at the one, Evan Fournier at the two, Aaron Gordon at the three, Serge Ibaka at the four, and Nick Vucevic at the five. A team that's a little bit crowded in the front court, Biz, this is a team that has Bismack Biombo most likely on the bench to start the year. So at number 23, you got the Denver Nuggets, a team that in a few years I could feel like I actually might be able to crack like the top 15, maybe the top 10 on this list. But anyway, at the 1, got Emmanuel Moutier, Jamal Murray at the 2, Danilo Gallinari at the 3, Kenneth Farid at the 4, and Nikola Jokic at the 5. So at number 22, I got the Milwaukee Bucks, a team that will be starting either Michael Carter-Williams at the 1, Matthew Della Vadova, or either Michael Carter-Williams or Matthew Della Vadova at the 1, Chris Middleton at the two, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak at the three, Jabari Parker at the four, and then Greg Monroe or Miles Plumley at the five, depending on if Greg Monroe is traded before the season starts. So number 21, got the Dallas Mavericks. Somewhat of a new looking lineup, but anyway, we got Dur or Darren Williams at the one, Wes, or Wes Matthews at the two, Harrison Barnes at the three, Dirk at the four, and then Andrew Bogut at the five. So at number 20, I got the Charlotte Hornets. 
team that I feel like actually got a little bit worse during the offseason. Really didn't pick up anyone new to beef up the lineup. Just re-signed a couple of their guys, which isn't bad. I still feel like they can be a playoff team. But this is where I feel like they fit right now. They got Kimball Walker at the one, Nick Batum at the two, MKG, Michael Kidd Gilchrist at the three, Marvin Williams at the four, and then Cody Zeller at the five. So at number 19, got the Washington Wizards, a team looking to rebound this year. A uh, team that still has a very talented backcourt if it can stay healthy with John Wall at the one, Bradley Beal at the two, Otto Porter at the three, Markeith Morris at the four, most likely Marching Gortat at the five. Uh, but you might see Jan Mahimi there as well starting. So, at number 18, got the Houston Rockets. So, a team that has Pat Beverly at the 1, James Harden at the 2, Trevor Ariza at the 3, Ryan Anderson at the 4, and then Clint Capella at the 5. A team, again, that looks a lot different heading into this coming season. So, number 17, got the Miami Heat. Dwayne Wade lists Miami Heat at that. Now, if you look at those websites I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you probably will not see Dion Waiters starting because he was just acquired today. But anyway, I think it'll be Goran Dragic at the one, Dion Waiters at the two, Justice Winslow at the three, Chris Bosh at the four. Now I'm going to put an asterisk beside Chris Bosh's name because from what I've seen, it's like maybe a 50-50 chance he actually is able to play for this full season. And obviously... At this point, maybe the most important player on this Heat team, barring, I don't know, Hassan Whiteside, maybe. But a Chris, Chris Bosch makes a big difference in this lineup. So, again, something to keep an eye on. Number 16, got the New York Knicks. So we had Derrick Rose at the 1, Courtney Lee at the 2, Carmelo Anthony at the 3, Christoph Porzingis at the 4, and Joachim Noah at the 5. Number 15, got the Oklahoma City Thunder. Team that dropped quite a bit just because of the loss of one player and... Anyway, they got Russell Westbrook at the 1, Oladipo at the 2, Arison Ilyasova at the 3. That's presumed. The 3 and the 4 are two positions to watch out for with the Thunder. Those might change before the season comes around. But anyway, we got Eames Cantor at the 4 and then Steven Adams at the 5. So number 14, got the Minnesota Timberwolves, a team that I think will be dramatically improved heading into this season. So at the 1, we got either Chris Dunn or Ricky Rubio. At the 2, we got Zach Levine. Or Zach Levine. At the 3, got Andrew Wiggins. Four, Gorgie Jang, and five, Carl Anthony Towns. So at number 13, got the Chicago Bulls again, another team that looks a lot different with Ray John Rondo at the one, Dwayne Wade at the two, Jimmy Butler at the three, Taj Gibson or Nikola Mirotic at the five, and then Rob, or er, at the four, and then Robin Lopez at the five. All right, so move into the top 12, starting with the Detroit Pistons. At the 1, got Reggie Jackson. At the 2, got Contavious Caldwell-Pope. At the 3, Tobias Harris. At the 4, Marcus Morris. At the 5, Andre Drummond. So, at number 11, got the Atlanta Hawks. Another team that'll look a little bit different for this year. At the 1, got new starting point guard Dennis Schroeder after they got rid of Jeff Teague. At the 2, Kent Bazemore newly re-signed. At the 3, sharpshooter Kyle Korver. At the 4, Paul Millsap, and at the 5, newly acquired from the Houston Rockets, well signed from free agency, former Houston Rocket, Dwight Howard. So at number 10, moving into the top 10, we got the Utah Jazz. At the 1, new starting point guard, George Hill. At the 2, now Gordon Hayward, Rodney Hood, a little bit interchangeable, but I'm going to say Rodney Hood at the 2, and then Gordon Hayward at the 3, they're both 6'8 uh, players that should be playing at small forward. Anyway, we got Derek, F or Derek Favors at the four and rounding out a good front court, Rudy Gobert at the five. So, Portland Trail Blazers at number nine. Got Damian Lillard at the one, CJ McCollum at the two, either Alan Crabb or Evan Turner at the three, most likely Alan Crabb, Al Farouk Amino at the four, and then Mason Plumley at the five. So, at number eight, got the vastly improved, at least in my opinion, maybe not improved, but impressive that they're still here, Memphis Grizzlies. So, at the one, got Mike Conley. At the two, Tony Allen. At the three, newly acquired Chandler Parsons. At the four, Zach Randolph. And at the five, Marcus Saul. So, the number seven ranked, starting five, we got the Indiana Pacers, a team that made a lot of good acquisitions this offseason. Starting with Jeff Teague at the one, Monte Ellis at the two, Paul George at the three, Thad Young at the four, and then Miles Turner at the five. Uh, also, keep an eye out for Al Jefferson might be interchangeable at the five. 
So at numbers, the number six ranked starting five, we got the Toronto Raptors. Kyle Lowry at the one, DeMar DeRozan at the two, rounding out one of the best backcourts in the NBA. Damari Carroll at three, Patrick Patterson at the four, and Jonas Valanciunas at the five. Starting lineup that looks pretty much exactly the same as last season. So, at number five, we got the Boston Celtics. With Avery, or Avery Bradley actually at the two, Isaiah Thomas at the one. Watch out for Marcus Smart, a guy that will get a lot of starting time as well. Jay Crowder at the three, Amir Johnson at the four, and Al Horford at the five. So, at number four and where we really start moving into the really good starting fives. At point, we got Chris Paul, shooting guard J.J. Redick. At the three, Wesley Johnson or Paul Pierce. Or Luke and Bob Mute, they are very interchangeable at the three. Blake Griffin at the four and DeAndre Jordan at the five. So, the San Antonio Spurs at number three, at starting five, that again is very impressive to me. You got Tony Parker at the one, Danny Green at the two, Kawhi Leonard at the three, LaMarcus Aldridge at the four, and Pau Gasol at the five. So at number two, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers reigning NBA champions. At the point, we got Kyrie Irving. Per, assuming he re-signs, J.R. Smith at the two. LeBron James, again, assuming he re-signs at the three. Kevin Love at the four, and Tristan Thompson at the five. So the obvious number one, I'm guessing all y'all knew this was going to happen before the video started. We got the Golden State Warriors with an unbelievably good starting lineup with Steph at the one, Klay Thompson at the two, Kevin Durant at the three, Draymond Green at the four, and then Zaza Pachulia at the five. Now, watch out for the lineup that might be starting quite a bit with Steph at the one, Klay Thompson at the two, Oh, Andre Iguodala at the three, Katie at the four, and Draymond Green at the five. That is one they will probably run with quite frequently. Might actually be the more talented and effective lineup. We will see. So that'll pretty much do it for this video. A lot of talking, a lot of writing, a lot of rankings. A lot of lineups, a lot of rosters. Like I said, if you want to see, I will have all the starting fives list out on my website. That'll be in the description below. The link to that. So go check that out, NFL previews, a bunch of other stuff, all my social media all posted there as well. Um, links to my Twitter, Instagram, go follow those. I tweet fire all the time. Instagram is my Stadium Series Tour Best Campuses page. Uh, follow for that will help me out a lot. But anyway, that's pretty much it. See ya.